What's up everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day today. You clicked on this video because you wanted to see some reaction videos and that is exactly what I'm going to give you guys today. You guys been loving it, so I provide more. Today we're going to cover personal portfolios, especially ones that are made with FreeJA, so expect to have your brains blown and uh, expect to be absolutely fascinated and encouraged to learn more and to see the amazing aspects of web dev. Now, I want to point out that a lot of you guys are watching my videos, are enjoying my videos, but are not subscribing to my channel. So if you like the videos, you should definitely consider subscribing. Also, I have really recently launched a startup series where I am myself building a startup from scratch, solo, just myself, on my own, just me, just Philip. Uh, so if you want to see the whole journey raw, the hardships and the successes and everything that has to be done to achieve maybe some success in the future, you should check out the video here and you should also definitely consider subscribing. Now, without any further ado, let's jump in and get inspired by some amazing developers that definitely deserve a shout out today. And let's really uh, enjoy these videos because I am definitely going to enjoy getting absolutely blown away by the capabilities of some web devs. Now, the way we're going to do it today is that I'm going to save the best till last. So make sure you watch through the whole video and enjoy every single bit of it because you're just going to get impressed more and more as this video progresses. So the first website we're looking at today is by someone called Danny Garcia, who's an engineering creative. Let me move those balls out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. Interactive web apps for various dashboard experience projects at Stripe. So this guy is a creative developer. Well, it seems like it because he's doing things like this. Now, obviously you go onto his website and suddenly your whole attention goes to these cute balls which follow your cursor, which you can really make and speed through. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they're going faster and faster. Oh, they're going faster and faster. Anyway, these balls that keep on, you know, they, they follow your cursor, they change, they are colorful, attention grabbing, very, very awesome. And as we continue scrolling, what we can see is, okay, so he talks that he's currently working at Stripe. Uh, I help build the Stripe dashboard. I mean, very self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, so whenever you guys go onto Stripe, you know who it's built by. Uh, he worked at Apple as well to design lots of prototypes and to build custom tooling. And then he worked at Red Interactive. You can follow him on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and email, and that's his whole page. Sometimes we need to understand that pages, they don't necessarily need to be overcomplicated. Although I assume creating these balls um, was very, very, very difficult. So I mean, maybe the, it, it, there was overcomplication here, but as, as per the amount of information you provide, you know, it, it's, it's not always about sharing your whole life story. The concrete stuff is most important. You showcase your skills clearly and that's it. You don't need to show more. So that's how I'm going to wrap up Danny Garcia. Amazing website, uh, really, really awesome work. And uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one is called breakthecode.tech. Huh? Hello, civilian. You have been chosen to participate in Break the Code what of the 2022. You, as our appointee, are required to use your skills and participate in action-packed, puzzle-solving, code-breaking experience created only for the true, hardened techies that can withstand the pressure of brain-twisting missions that will stretch your mind to its limits. Um, okay, how, how do I register? Just click on the link in the description, damas. But be quick, the code breaker starts today. And time okay, is I'll be limited. quick, but damn, you're making me real nervous. Good. You don't want to miss out on this. Uh, why don't I want to miss out? If I break the code, do I get anything in return? Prizes. Incredible prizes, starting from a Tamagotchi and a PS1 console or a boombox, a Tudor Matrix script signed by Kanye Reeves or a James Bond GoldenEye weapon system. Or if that wasn't enough, the main prizes consist of a one-of-one -one Codebreakers PS5, a one-of-one -one Codebreakers MacBook Pro or the Codebreakers Layer, which is the grand prize, an ultimate custom gaming rig with a monetized gaming throne too much. Holy, those prizes are amazing. So what are you waiting for, participant? You'll need to dig for clues and investigate events, 
of the past in order to set humankind on the right path to the future. So start cracking codes and rise to the challenge. I'm out. It's very rare to participate in something where you learn, have fun and can win amazing prizes. So make sure you click the link in the description and become the code breaker of 2022. Now I think we need to move on to the next website because we obviously don't want to miss out on some incredible inspiration by some incredible web developers. The next website is by robinpayot.com or just Robin Payot, I assume. He is a creative developer and we can enter and we get some music. Now I'm probably going to switch this music off because I want you guys to hear my voice, but scroll to explore. So, oh, oh, this is awesome. It feels like I'm on a running track and I think that's what Robin wanted to achieve in this website, to feel like you're running through a track and seeing all the progress that he's been making. Oh, and if you look to the left right here, you can see his logo. And as we move through the track, it actually shows the progress of where we are and what we're doing. So that is really, really awesome. And that's some really nice attention to detail. And now we have a little things coming up. Portfolio, Robin Payot. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is awesome. What if I click on it? Okay, that's nice. That's a nice transition. And then the same thing happens. So basically an image has been turned into, I assume, some kind of frame. And then that frame has been, I, I don't know if it was pre-coded or not. I, I'm not actually sure how he did this. And the crazy thing is, if you look on the right, it's like a reflection of what's happening, but it's like, I don't know, it's like gooey, like, like, a, like a jelly. I, 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 I genuinely have no idea how this was done. Oh, wow. That is actually really interesting. How? How is something like this made? So I guess he's like testing for the specific color under the mouse cursor and then taking like a width and a height around the cursor of those colors and just converting it in that specific place into uh, the colorful balls with those specific random colors in those certain areas. There's some huge mathsy calculations probably going on. See, so now it's black and now it's red here and now it's blue with those planets and oh yeah, yeah, so it's so it's literally taking like little segments and just converting into balls. Absolutely no idea how he does it. It's, it's amazing. And then we have these pillars rising up again. And here is his about section, which is just a little bit of text. And you know, it doesn't always have to be over complicated, like I said. Hi, I'm Robin Payot, a freelance creative developer. I'm based in Paris. What is up with all these incredible developers being from Paris? Like, if you've watched my reaction videos, you've noticed that every single developer that does something incredible is from Paris, France. What? What? So anyway, well, here you have, uh, he's uh, animations using WebGL, JS, HTML and CSS. WebGL course and all of that coming hopefully this year uh, on my private startup page. So if you're looking to learn more creative development from myself, that's coming out. Quick shout out right there. Uh, incredible website, Robin Payot. Really, really, really enjoyable. Very cleverly designed. Uh, so all someone needs to do is just keep scrolling and they'll essentially find out everything about you. So awesome page. And let's continue to the next one. I have saved the best to last. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. He's cooking my ramen or your ramen in this case. And let's start. Now, this is what I call FreeJS website. Now, it's basically a model of a ramen place. And we can, we can go around and it has so many cool features. If I just zoom in a little bit, so many cool features. You can really tell what this guy enjoys. And, and, I'll, and I'll show you, I'll, I'll give you my live representation. Here I can see Iron Man and I can see some movies. So probably these are the movies that he enjoys. Let's move around. He, well, I, I mean, he definitely also likes ramen. Let's just have that as the cornerstone of everything. This guy likes ramen. Um, here we have probably him, best ramen in town with his, I'm guessing, girlfriend. Here he has uh, some, uh, it's, it's stocks, but I'm, I'm not sure which stocks, or maybe it's like, yeah, I think it's stocks. Uh, I can tell that he's a fan of boxing and a fan of basketball. Here is some of his pictures, probably. Uh, here are some games that he wrote. Uh, what else do we have here? Here we have a Tesla supercharger meaning he probably drives a Tesla. Um, okay. 
And I love this ramen at the top. Look at this thing and it spins. Oh my goodness. This is, this is really, 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 really good work. Like really good work projects. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at those projects. Uh, free JS Ramen Shop Portfolio NFT Price Prediction Model. Go back. NBA Fantasy Project Model. Nice. Uh, mortgage App Business Plan and Mockup. So, and, and he shows you his skills that he used to make this. So uh, if, if we go on Etsy Sales Scraper, Scraper and Python, Scrappy, sorry, and Python. Uh, ASL Neural Network Transition, OpenCV, Python, Keras, and TensorFlow. So yeah, it's really cool, but I'm I'm just more interested about this game on the left and how do I play it? Click to start, it's not clicking. So maybe let's go back, let's see what else he has. So this is kind of like a menu. What if I click on his name? Okay, ah, ah, this is awesome. So like I previously said, and you saw how if I kind of go over around, we can really tell a lot about this guy. So it kind of now gives you a different perspective from the top where you can really go in close and see like everything about him and so on. So this is a really, really, really nice touch. And I really like that. That's really awesome. Uh, okay, and here he gives you that he's a management consultant, developer, data scientist, videographer, and digital artist. Now, what if I click about me? Oh, nice. Blah, 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 a bit about him. His skills, very cool. I like the way that is illustrated and his experience. Uh, nice, so contact me for full experience details. So where he worked and so on and so forth. Really, really nicely designed. And then credits, what's that? That's the game. Okay, I wanna play. Score, high score level, click to start. Okay, developed by Jesse Zhu, models and stories Jesse Zhu. Uh, inspirations. CSS loader, special thanks to Bruno Simon. Well, there you go. <laughs> and and that's it. Where is the game, man? Where is the game? Everyone, is, you, you gotta have a game on your website, Jesse. Come on. If you're showing a, a whole console, you gotta have some mini game like Pac-Man or something so we can play with our arrows. Um, I guess there is, unless it's like a, it's like an Easter egg and I don't know how to click it, but clearly I can't do that. So um, yeah, level two, wait, what? Level one, all right, we go through the pages and it's a level two. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Another incredible website uh, that someone has designed as their personal portfolio. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's the best one we saw today. Let me guys know what you think about this. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And as always, I will see you in the next one.